Oh hey, I'm Jackie and welcome to the Fab Workshop. We are an Australian-based channel dedicated to all things flesh and blood, but with a particular focus on new players. Here we'll be discussing different heroes, their mechanics, general gameplay and interactions, but we will also feature some spicy box openings and community vlogs. Being a new channel, we are still experiencing with sound and video, but hopefully we get it sorted soon. In the meantime, we thought it would be really fun to share a very special box opening. I'm sure most of you already noticed, I don't have an Australian accent, and well, you would be correct. I am from a French area of Canada, so long story short, I will be opening a full case of European History Pack 1 French Edition. Just a few quick disclaimers, firstly this product was for the European market, so words I may not fully understand since European and Canadian French language is slightly different. Secondly, this is my very first recorded unboxing, so please be kind in the comments. Lastly, this recording was a little long, so this will be a two-part video. Alright, with all of this out of the way, let's get cracking. Hope you enjoy. All right, so here we are. <laughs> the sticker came off. Uh, History pack one, French. Let's go. I'm pretty excited. Been waiting for these for a little while. Let's open this up. We'll find this here. All right. Okay, here we go. So, the aim here is to get a Marvel Dash. If we don't get a Marvel Dash, I think I already spoke with Flukenbox. Um, that has a great channel. I'll probably link it below. Um, if I do get a Marvel Dory, um, we will try to trade because I'm actually opening a uh, French case as well, I believe. So let's hope we get some spicy stuff. All right. Here we go, everyone. Ooh, their paper. So they made the history pack one for Europe in paper. That's awesome. I'm very happy about them. All right, let's see. I'm so excited to see French text. So the first few, I'll slow, slowly show them. All right. Invocation. Invocation sanguine. Oh wow, the, the words is so weird. Tire de loup. Oh. <laughs> Envie carnivore. Tire de feu again. <laughs> Lire les runes. I don't know if it's properly. There we go. Sorry about that. Ah. Uh. Dash cards, yes. I'm gonna probably try to to Frenchify my 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 uh, dash deck. Tire de recouvrement. Ah, I don't even know how they meant to say that word because it's not a very French word. Uh, but nul rune. Very weird. <laughs> flick flack. Titan imposant. I think we have a foil in these. No, we don't have any. All right. All right, the next one. We're going to start going a little bit faster here. Oh, wow. Koyu Varas. That is, uh, I like uh, what they call this. Oh, yeah. 
These are looking really, really good. The quality looks great. All right, let's go a bit faster. Ah, copper, cuivre. All right, and here's our rares. Nothing very spicy. So I'm actually gonna separate these. Let me go back and separate the rares. There we go. All right. All right, we're gonna just pick up the... So, I started playing Flesh and Blood, I don't know, um, when Crucible was out, and but I started playing more uh, at our local LGSs. Um, oh, it's, I'm sorry, it's so weird. Ha oh, ha. Pistolet à plasmo teclo. <laughs> Love it. All right, so these are our rares. Vise la cible et désarmement. There you go. So yeah, I started playing and I bought a Blitz deck and it was actually Chain. So <laughs> my first taste of Flesh and Blood was, was playing Chain and it was actually quite difficult. So um, I switched it up and I started playing Dash and I love Dash. I absolutely love her. Um, oh, Ko. Keo Kede the Berserker. I don't know how you would say that in French, but that's, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know someone that would like that card right now. Uh, Sieur de Mauvrion. That's not bad. I do like that. Uh, oh, look at that. Triple Effroi. Our first Majestic. That's pretty cool, actually. Nice. Spicy. All right. All right, what do we got here? <laughs> Pommel, baby. Rosage. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got a saber here. Not really much. Uh, uh, I think it's written exactly the same. Um, saber is basically the same word in French. So, sabre. So, yep. Nothing very exciting in the last few here. All right. Revenir en bloc. So this is funny. So overloop makes a lot of sense, but the French reduction, like translation of this is actually not bad. I actually like this. Um, it makes a lot of sense because this one, if it hits, it goes at the bottom of your library afterwards. So basically it's saying it's just overlooping. So um, it's pretty good. I like it. Uh, Home du pic du sen. No, <laughs> that's, a, that's a mouthful even for me. Uh, ah, snatch. Vol à l'arraché. Now, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's okay traduction. Potion de Fosse. And I have a bunch of packs. They're very, very slippery. Um, hopefully, there's not one on the floor. For people that are not liking tidiness, I'm just going to put them back here. All right. All right, so let's see. All ruin again. No, nothing good. Serment de l'Arche Nuit, Assaut la Magique. Oh, that's, that's a weird word, but okay. I don't even know what that means. And I'm French Canadian, so I don't know. It's uh, maybe it's something more French than, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what that actually means. All right. Note de recherche de Sutcliffe. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, here's my dashi. Not the one that we were looking for, but that's pretty cool. Uh, before people say, hey, you put a bunch of commons here. I'm just going to put them here. All right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Asso brise nuque. 
that almost sounds too fancy for a brood card. It's just very funny. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of uh, mechanologist cards. I'm very happy. Agilisme. Ah, oh, that's actually tra tra translated really well um, from the other one. So, ah, yes, immovable, inamovible. That is. Um... Oh, that's right. Probably, if I were to say in French, it's viseré. <laughs> There you go. Impact Grande Vitesse and Titan Imposant. Nothing super spicy here. I'm sorry if it's noisy. There might be some background noise. It's raining quite a bit tonight. Uh, Brassard de la Foi. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right. Oh, boom, Sonic. So here's our. Actually, let's let's separate our majestic. I had another majestic right here. Here we go. We'll keep them separate. Right here, and see how many we get in one box. So far, we got two. Unless someone, I'm sure, will tell me if I missed some. <laughs> I'm definitely. Um, I play commoner as well and I have a little commoner fly deck and I'm definitely gonna put these in because I just love it. Uh, mm. Écailleur de Mufli. <laughs> wow okay so this is I don't know if that's gonna sound wrong this sounds really French this is definitely not um, something that I would hear um, like very often being said. It seems very um, out there. Oh, so de consolation. That's pretty cool. Yep. Very nice. This thing. Classy. That is very cool. Ita de Zen. All right. Love it. I'm going to play all of these uh, auras, that's for sure. They're very cool. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Masque d'impulsion. That is, that is used a lot right now. So I'm pretty happy um, getting that one. I'm gonna need some uh, some some sleeves here. Protect that one. That's very cool. I'm very happy. So with box one. Go straight to sleeve that one. Look at that. Effet une fois par tour. Lorsqu'une carte action d'attaque que vous contrôlez est le troisième maillon d'une chaîne ou plus à toucher à la suite, piocher, piocher une carte. Wow, ok. This is very, very French. Um, I love it. It's awesome. Beautiful. Hey, I'm not complaining about that. That's a good hit. Good first box so far. I think that's the first zipper hit that I've seen so far. 100%. Ah. <laughs> Reinar Folie Martrière. So, um, what would be the direct translation of this? Like, just, um, I don't even know. It's pretty good. Oh, there's another Majestic here. Écrasement Spin. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just they're very word per word on some of these. It's it's very funny. I love it. They're paper. Did you see? 
There he is. There's someone next to me, if you're wondering. Um, are you going to be Frenchifying your Lexi deck with Absolutely. some of these? Absolutely. Good, good, good. But the mage. Uh, coup de pied fatal. I love that translation. I think that's really cool. What is it? It's, it's, it's basically what it says in English. Like it's um, it's pretty much they they translated most of these uh, just word for word, really. Like a lot of the words in French. Um, sorry, I have a cat and she's loving the box right now <laughs> that the case came. Um, so. Um, when you look at a French card, so perfect example with uh, uh, combustible courier, a lot of our words in French, we they're flipped over. So you'll see combustible is second and messenger is first. So in French, it's messager combustible. So there's a bit of a difference here. Um, a lot of our words um, will be flipped around. Repost. I love that translation as well. Yeah, there's some really, really fun ones. Ooh, Ira. Ira, brume pourpre. Votre deuxième attaque chaque tour gagne plus un attack. Cool. Réduire à la chan chant de rune. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I, I swear, um, um, I, I mean, this was meant for, like, uh, Europeans, and our French is a little bit different um, in Canada. So some of these words are a bit, a bit foreign to me. Um, I get what they mean, but it's not a vocabulary like I would be using very often. Um, reflex accéré. Pretty cool. Uh, Lentille talismatic. No, talismanic. Oh, see, I would say the other way. Ooh, lame de jumelage. Now that's pretty cool. I love that art. I think it's it's from Welcome to Wraith. I think that's one of my favorite art out of that set. I really like that one. I suppose. Is it Crucible? Oh, yes, I think you're right. Oh, sorry, guys. I don't know my fab. It's Crucible. Absolutely. Crucible. Not. Welcome to Ray. Uh, ooh, <laughs> Cavdeen. Okay, what's the translation on that one? Cavdeen. Marchand de peau. Oh, I mean, it's the same thing. It's exactly what it is. It's Merchant of Skins. So... Flick flack. Réponse ardente. Cool. The cardstock feels really nice on these, by the way. Alright. Revenir en bloc. Monocle. Okay. Monocle opticlo. No idea. <laughs> uh. Jean-Bierre de Rouille. Hang on. Oh, yeah, Iron Rot. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Because I was wondering, really? That doesn't sound very good, actually, but Iron Rot doesn't feel very good either. All right. Clairvoyance cendrée, pied au plancher. Eh, I like English better on that one. I think it sounds more, uh, kind of go fast. That one is a bit, mm. All right. Pluie bouillante. <laughs> oh, God. Some of these are, yeah, they're, they're funny. Um, oh, cool. Oh, it's just, it's having played this game in English all this time, it's just very odd to see some of these and how they, they what they decide to call them. Uh, la vie pour une vie. I mean, this is exact. These two are literally word per word translations. So. I think we're halfway to the box at this point of box one we've got a mask of momentum 
which I'm very, very happy about. Conduit de terre. Oh, we got another Majestic here. Deschainement Alpha. I mean, yeah, I mean, again, this is a perfect example. Alpha is second, so it's Alpha Rampage, and Deschainement is literally what it means. So, you learn a word. Deschainement Rampage. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm gonna have to to do a little cleanup after this first box. I, I have a lot of paper around. Fournaise de terre. I think we saw that. I just it, I find it very. I mean, it's it's furnace. It's like it, that. That's see another French word for you. Um, it's just it sounds very odd when I read it in no. All right, where's the spice, guys? We need more. I want more here. Come on. All right, let's see. Veste point point. I really like I'm gonna be playing all these uh, cool um, equipment in my little common decks. Cool. Gonna Frenchify whatever I can. Which is great because since I love playing Dash, a lot of her good cards are in these sets. Only the ones from Everfest are not gonna be showing off, obviously, right now, but I'll be able to have most of my deck in French, which is really great. Another vest. Valeur du guerrier sur puissance. Yeah, again. Pretty much um, exactly word for word, the translation. Now, are we going to get a Marvel? This is a big question here. So, I was told that there's a Marvel one per two cases, and that worries me quite a bit. Um, this is not something I'm gonna, probably going to buy again. This was directly from France. It, it's it's not close. Ball d'Auton. Cool. Nœud de cognition. Ah, oh, or de la guerre. Oui, oui, oui. Cool. Now that's not, that's, that's cool. Very happy to have that one as well. I'm gonna sleeve that one up right now. These are gaining a bit more. They they come in and out of flavor, but right now with the Fi being very powerful, this is getting a lot of play. I know there's Viserai and other decks that plays this already, but there's just many more decks now that's playing it. That's very good. Um, I'm not gonna start reading everything on the card. I'll be reading it on my own time, but very cool, very cool. So, first box, we got Art of War and a Mask of Momentum. That's pretty cool. Alright. Wonder if we're going to get anything else in. Well, look at that. Isn't that the, <laughs> the weapon we can't use, really? Yeah. L'Arme de Nebuleuse. Some of these names they do, they 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 sound not that would go with a rune blade. Um, they they sound funny to me. But. All right, a few packs left on that one. I'm gonna just pick up the speed just a little bit. And then we'll do a quick clean up and open box two after that. Immersion profonde. I don't. Maybe I went fast on that one. I don't think I've seen that one yet. So that's pretty cool. I do want play sets of these ones. Série de pillage. Definitely. Wow. Another. Another one. And yes, from Crucible. So we got another one of that one. So it's 
some double, which is very odd because there's a the card pool in uh, the history pack is quite large. So, oh, got a rare weapon here. So, Massu d'Anvilem. Someone that's from that's French, uh, probably try to tell me how to say this because I really don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> ah, we have another one here. Provoque un tumulte. Actually, I love this better in French, this translation. I think this really is cool. Um, that is something that will go in my ultimate pit fight. Oh, and I'm pretty sure, yeah. I, I'm tossed up between Cav Dean and uh, our buddy Guinness. Périeux and another série de pillage. This to me, there's a lot more. How many? There's 36 packs. I thought it was. Oh no, you're right. I'm thinking of. That's 24 packs usually, isn't it? Uh, aha! Didn't see that one yet. Cool. Gantelet de, de Goliath. And it's funny because. Um, every time I, because I play this card and when I play it and I, I'm used to seeing, I'm seeing the word and it's written the same way, um, in French. So <laughs> people will laugh at me because I kept on saying, uh, Goliath gauntlet and it's, it's Goliath, but yeah, it's Goliath in French. So here you go. Kodachi Harmonisé. Uh, we have a potion here. Melody Enchantress et Potion de Saut Temporel. That sounds really good, actually. I love that. Alright, we got three packs left of box one. Katsu! Katsu le Vagabond. The Vagabond? What? Okay. <laughs> sure. Um, Potion d'énergie. Oh, and another one. Décoche la mort. Cool. Another majestic. That is Arcane Rising, if I'm not mistaken. Not very played right now because I don't think there's a lot of azaleas around. Um, Plastron d'Ecosse. That's pretty cool. I do like that translation on that one. Um, Benediction de délivrance et cherche d'abri. Okay, it's very weird the way they wrote that. All right, two packs left. That one. Big translation on that one. <laughs> There's no other way we would write it, really. I'm curious about that one. Tournoiement de fleurs de brume. Wow. <laughs> Another Ira. Impact grande vitesse dans de la grue. Last pack. Ah, no marvel in that one. And anything good at the end? Okay, we have a rare um, Griff de Mandibule. That's pretty cool, actually. I do like the translation on that. And oh, another majestic Renforcement Ancestral. Oh, I don't know why. This looks really good like the card is the art is really nice yep excellent all right so that's box one just gonna clean up a bit here and 
open another one. All right, box two. Did a bit of cleanup. Actually, let's get the, the wrapping off. And let's take a quick look at the box. I, I just dove in the other one and didn't really look at the box. Let's look at it. 36 paquets booster. So everything's in French. That's pretty cool. Revivez l'histoire de Wraith. Very cool. I'm gonna probably try to keep one of these nice. If I can. <laughs> Alright, they were very slippery before, so I'm going to slowly take them out. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do it this way this time. Take them directly from the box. Alright, pack one, guys. Let's go. <laughs> same card. So, uh, that is exactly the same card I opened uh, in my first pack. It was a yellow one as well. So. Okay. Accelerate. Pretty cool. I'll just put the rares here. I mixed up a lot of packs of the, of the cards earlier. Um, oh, Kano! Kano! <laughs> it's kind of like KO, isn't it? Like, uh... They, they they changed the first letter of the name, which is very, very odd, but it's it's cool, I guess. I should open it differently because this would be the marvel, I think, at the bottom. So I kind of want the surprise element if we do get one. I really hope we do. Ah, oh, yeah. You like that one. Sangle croisé du courage. I will be playing this one in commoner. <laughs> All right. Can we beat the master momentum of the last box? That would be really cool. Plus on the oui. Okay, first Majestic Barrière Sans de Rune. It's weird, it, 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 they, they look less saturated than the original ones. Maybe it's me, I don't know. I would need to see another one next to it. Alright, I'm doing it. Ah, oh, cool. Ha. I will be playing this one too. Tadishar, le prince perdu. Lost prince. Here you go. So again, you can see it's the other way around. Lost is perdu. So, and prince is first. So, it's flipped around. What will be, hopefully we get another uh, legendary that would be really, really cool. Rob d'enlèvement. Oh, I like the translation on that one. Clairvoyance cendré, une décharge de la lame d'acier. I think they could have left her name the same, in my opinion. I think that is not a name. Like, I don't, I'm very sorry if anyone is called Azeli. Um, I haven't seen this name before. It just sounds odd. I think it would have left it the same, in my opinion. Was 
massage. Katsu. See? They didn't mess around with Katsu. They kept it pretty much the same. No weird letters or change of name. Ooh. That is pretty cool. Point de cratère. So yes, Crater Fist is pretty much the same, same, same uh, translation here. Word per word. Very happy. I am considering um, looking into Bravo. So yeah, if I am, I will be playing the French one for sure. So I'm in Australia and um, I'm actually going to nationals and I'm undecided yet um, at this date uh, what I will be bringing. So who knows, maybe I will be taking our friend Bravo. <laughs> Anatos. Pretty sure it's written the same way. Cool. Festin Sauvage. Ooh. You're gonna like that one. <laughs> so, three of a kind. Brelan. Um, that's very cool. It's more of a card game term. Um, this translation. But that is... Looks very good. Gonna pimp out your Lexi with a brelan. <laughs> Woo, yay! Didn't see that one yet. But that chill. That's very cool. Another dash card that I'm not playing. <laughs> um, that would be, well, it's not a dash card, it's a mechanologist card. That would be more probably with Dot at all. I don't even know if Dot at all would be playing that, to be honest. Although the Block Arcane 2 is a little relevant, but you play the Viziotronic anyway, so you don't need that much. Um, so that one already. Assault Brisnik. Réponse Ardente. So if anyone is wondering, unfortunately none of these are for sale. Um, if you're wondering, um, I am I am looking into getting actually play sets of all of these if at all possible so fortunately i will be keeping all of these the only card that i may consider if i get a marvel that is not dash um i already have conversations with someone to possibly offload or trade if that person gets the correct one that i want that's odd. I feel like these two have been together often. Maybe I'm imagining things. Alright, just oh sorry fluke, not the not the Marvel. Uh but still cool. Uh Dorinthia Chantefy. I do like the name on that one. That's very cool. Woohoo! Okay. There we go. Command et conquête. Wow. That that is that is very cool. I need a double sleeve on that one. And there's that boy. That's excellent. Very nice. Ugh. I really, really hate these bottom uh, double sleeves, so right now it's going to go like this. Command et conquête. Aucune carte de réaction de défense ne peut être jouée dans le maillon de la chaîne. Command et conquête. Si command et conquête touche un héros, détruisez toutes les cartes de son arsenal. 
Uh, here you go. That's your translation for today of Command and Conquer. That is that is awesome. Great hit right on that one. And we are getting close to halfway to the second box. Uh, Another majestic. Brassage fou. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, like the, it's very discolored, the, the majestic. Maybe it's, it's, it was meant that way. It's not like a perfect red circle. There's a bit of white in it. But that's very cool. close to all the Mulroon equipment, which is very cool. Yeah, Darina. I would really like to know why LSS, like, particularly wanted this one in History Pack. I don't think this is very played, um, but I don't know. I, um, I have no idea. I would like to know. Um, I mean, it's a beautiful card, don't get me wrong, but I was a bit confused with that uh, peak as a generic going into history. It's had the shock. Absolutely. Like these are like your staples. Like you want to have those. Uh... Don de la mort. That sounds like really like hardcore <laughs> when you read it in the, in the French version. It, I mean, it's death dealer. It's literally the same thing so but in French <laughs> Potion de saut temporel. I think again this is one of my favorite translation I think of all the the cards I've seen so far I really really like it de Maubrillon. I haven't seen a lot of those. I think they're only open two so far of uh, the Maubrillon skies. I mean, rares are going to be hard to finish a set, in a, even in that case, to be honest. There's a lot. All right. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Octan Intense. So, okay, it's not like a huge hit, but for me it is because it is Dash and I play all three of these. So, absolutely very happy about that one. And uh, it's very off center, unfortunately, but cool nonetheless. Prism used to hate seeing that card appear, that's for sure. This is my personal, I have a deep hatred, hatred, I can't say that word, you can tell that I'm French now. I do not like a sign. <laughs> and C again with a C, which is, I don't know why they had to put a C on her name. I mean, the art is amazing. I just, that's the reason, she's the reason why I don't play Dash in Blitz anymore. It's just, she blocks very well, let's just say. Very cool though. Stand Savage. All right. Oh, yeah, that's why. Oh, I think that is a Bravo card at the back. Yes, Showtime. Where is the translation here, guys? It could have been possible to do translation. What would I say? Um, L'heure du show? I don't know. Maybe call me LSS next time you do some translations? No, I'm kidding. It, it's just, that's sad. I, it's a missed opportunity. I think you could have. 
Frenchified this one a little bit better. <laughs> Ben G. Le vent persan. Ooh, that sounds very good actually in French. I do like that. Serment de l'arche nuit. Another translation that I really like. That sounds very good actually. No marvels, guys. Where is it? Hopefully, we get one. He hopes so. Yep, that's going straight in my deck. Alright, will we get anything spicy in the rest of this box? We did get a Command and Conquer. Alright, let me pick some out of here. Oh, we got a few more. Oh. Gourdin Virvolta. So, okay, for a brute card, this just sounds too fun for a name. Um, it's just... Virvolta is something that a kid would say. Like, it's just... Very, very odd name, but... Hey, it's cool. I dig it. Uh, and a few of those. So Frank, if you're listening, you can have one. I can give you one if you want of these ones. Ooh, bait en soi. That is cool. <sighs> center again it's it's very sad but hey that's pretty cool like it I'm gonna move this here I feel something's gonna happen if I don't Enervé. I have to see this. Is, what is it in English again? I don't play a brute, so I don't really remember this one, what it's called. But um, I would like to know if... Um, because to me... It, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that would translate. It's very odd. Aiguille de Zephyr. That's pretty cool. A card that's going straight in my deck. Désarmement. Simple, but correct translation. Oh, I the Young Dorinthia. Very nice. I'm getting a lot of these plunder runs. Anything else? So what do we have from up here? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Would you like to open the next box, Ashley? No. Don't want to try to read these cards in French. Yeah, really. oh. Ooh, but there's a card for you. A card that I particularly hate when I play against him. Um, Pruit de Flèche. <laughs> so the frustrating bit that okay you need to be able to block um what what's the damn card bone shot great sweet i'll block it and then he plays this and i can't block it yeah so this happens but hey you're allowed to play it if you want in French. 
I'll be less mad, I think, if you hit me with it. Oh, oh, is that another? Yep. Plant dans le sable. Very cool. I swear they looked a bit desaturated. Like, does the blue look a little... Even the raining arrows, these ones. What's that called again? English? Endless arrows. Endless arrows. Wow. So I've been looking too many French cards now that I'm forgetting, like, main cards that I've seen, like, countless times. Bravo. I mean, in French it would be the same. Bravo. And nothing. Four packs left. All right, are we going to get something else, guys? Let's hope. All right. Viserai. Don't think we have that one yet. And getting a lot of these Titan. Titan. Titan Impose. I swear I've been seeing them a lot. The cat is having fun with the, the packs that I'm tossing on the ground. Another one here, Eclair en chaîne. Getting a few, uh, a few wizard cards here. We got Sonic Boon earlier as well. All right, All right last pack, guys. I'm going to do it this way. Just in case. I'm gonna start getting used to opening it like that instead. I don't see the back. Oh, didn't have that one. Lame de l'aube. Pretty cool. And no. Nah. No more. So that one was, was a bit more of a sad box. What did we get this time? So Command and Conquer is pretty good. Um, I mean, actually, there's a few good hits here. That's a pretty good hit. That's pretty good. That's amazing for me. That's a good hit. That's a very good hit. And that one, yeah, yeah, it's all right. All right, clean up number two, and we'll continue after this. Mm -hmm.